welcome along to UFF Football Daily. Um, I know it's a bit of a nondescript location. I'm actually in a hotel at the moment, about to leave to go to the Cheltenham races today, uh, where we're going to be down there doing some stuff. Um, but let's just quickly tell you about the football standard win for Manchester City last night, beating Stoke by two goals to nil. Stoke in deep relegation trouble now. You wouldn't have thought at the start of the season that Stoke could be one of those teams going down, but it's second from bottom. Um, Man City, I think two games now away from winning the title. They could win the title against Manchester United at home. Now, for every Manchester City fan, um, that's an absolute dream. I can see Mourinho sabotaging that, you know. I was thinking about this last night. That he could, <laughs> nah, maybe I shouldn't say he'd that. His team to deliberately lose, so it wouldn't be won that City. But I don't know. But imagine that for City fans, it would be dreamland for them to win the title at home against Manchester United. It'd be absolutely horror show for United fans. Um, Manuel Pellegrino, the manager of Southampton, was sacked yesterday. Southampton, another one of those teams in big danger of being relegated. It hasn't happened for this guy, but to sack him so soon before the end of the season. Is there a manager that's going to be able to come in and save um, Southampton in time? They certainly left it late, but Pellegrino is out of the door. Now, big match for Manchester United tonight. They take on Sevilla um, in their second leg of the Champions League. Um, you'd expect United to get through this one. It was nil-nil in the first leg, but United should have way too much for Sevilla and expect United to get through to the next round. They're buzzing at the moment, especially after the weekend win over Liverpool, so I more than expect them to get the job done. And finally, what's happening with Jamie Carragher? The spitting incident, he's come out, he's apologised for it, but he's still under a lot of pressure. Sky TV have uh, suspended the ex-Liverpool um, player uh, after that spitting incident where he spat at a 14-year-old kid. He was, I don't know whether he was aiming it at the dad who was driving, or the... I don't think he was saying that a kid, but whichever way you want to look at it, it's an absolute horror show for Carragher. Spitting is disgusting. He came out yesterday, admitted it himself. He's apologised. Should he keep his job or should he be sacked? I want to ask you guys that. I was thinking about this yesterday and I was like, it's a moment of madness. He's apologised. <sighs> should he be sacked? I, I really don't know. I mean... Maybe he should just be suspended and then he gets his job back. I hate to see people getting sacked for moments of madness. I'm sure this is not in his overall character. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Should Carragher be sacked or should he keep his job? Thanks for watching the show today and we'll be back tomorrow.